Tell me a lie. The moon is made of green cheese. Tell me a lie that's more subtle. Everyone likes you all the time. Okay, I already hate and despise AI, but that was just mean. Turns out Germans don't really understand how bagels work. Yeah, and whose fault is that? <laughs> okay, wow. The only open-minded presidents we've ever had. Well, that's one way to say it. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. No, no. Oh, God. Folks be on $1,000 trips wearing $10 clothes. Yeah, and you be at home. You're know, like, what kind of an own is that supposed to be, by the way? They're clothes, aren't they? They look good on me, and it only costs $10? How am I the loser here? Seriously, where can a Christian get their nails done without having to be surrounded by other statues in Buddha? I'm done paying women who have nothing in common with me spiritually big bucks to do my nails. I want a person who knows the Lord to do mine. Seems logical. I think Jesus got his nails done by some Roman guys. Hope that helps. <laughs> oh, dude, I don't think anybody could have come up with a better response. That just, mwah, beautiful. Commas are important, people. Commas aren't people. Think about it. If the Earth is flat, do the moon and all other planets are flat? No, there doesn't. Let me get this straight. Aren't them wasn't? Uh, <laughs> stop. Not even gonna bother watching these pointless videos. The things people will do for attention. Yeah, some people are online, just constantly seeking attention. This one dude I met online even comments on videos he didn't even watch. Yo, I don't understand the point. How, how does that entertain you? Ten years ago, she rejected me. Now, I'm the CEO of Google and her husband is my employee. And she still isn't with you. So once a loser, always a loser. Man, if that guy even for a second actually made this meme, he would be the biggest dork-ass loser in the world. Just saying. But no, some weird little toe-licking fanboy made this on his behalf. Hey everyone, I got a blue Nintendo logo backpack. The cringe is real strong in this one. Are you one of those people that are so socially inept that you have to comment cringe on everything? The dude's only expressing his happiness that he got a blue backpack. Yeah, the cringe culture thing really boiled over to such a point where everyone considered everything to be cringe. Everything was awkward and weird. Any amount of enthusiasm for anything was met with even your closest friends going, <laughs> cringe. I'm really, really glad that we're past that point and can go back to using the word for its intended purpose, but holy God, it was so bad for a while. How come cashiers at 24-7 McDonald's can de-escalate situations better than cops? Because we get fired if we don't. Yeah, the cashiers don't get to just shoot you or beat the crap out of it. Well, I guess they could if they wanted to. You know, it's kind of like uh, Waffle House employees, you know? I'm pretty sure if you're working the night shift at a 24-7 McDonald's, you can just beat the crap out of a customer if they're rude enough, right? Are you guys allowed to do that? If you're physically bullied, the best thing to say is, no, 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 don't do that. You'll give me an action. Oh, please don't beat me up, I'll come. I had a friend who didn't take my advice about only wifing virgins, had a baby with this broad with 15 plus body count. The baby came out looking like a composition of the past 15 guys she screwed. Doctors said it had something to do with the sperm residue sticking to the vaginal walls. And I'm betting that OP has zero sperm residue in any women. <laughs> God, how actually stupid do you have to be to post something like that? I don't even, not even as a joke. Seriously, not even as a joke. Who says something like that? And furthermore, who would actually believe something like that? Why are you posting at this unholy hour of night? Hi, I've been told the world continues past the American West Coasts. Something about Earth being round and places named Europe or Asia. Inverted night slash day with people actually living here. I'm pretty sure our marketing made up Europe entirely just to take naps on the job, if you ask me. I've, I am so actually sick and tired of people not remembering that time zones exist and actively trying to forget that they do because they feel the one that they live in is the only one that matters. I'm so tired of that. Like if I post a tweet saying, oh, it's 1041 AM and I'm already having a bad day or something stupid like that, I'll get at least eight replies going, um, it's not 1041. Yes, it is though. Our landlord at our San Francisco headquarters says we're legally required to keep the sign as Twitter and cannot remove the W. So we painted it background color 
problem solved. You sure know how to make W's disappear, huh? That's what he does best, dude. Elon is the best at making W's disappear. You are correct. Also, he has never been funny, by the way. He is genuinely not funny. Oh no. Maybe if we underpaid these modern mumble rappers and overpaid teachers, there'd be smarter people in the future and less crappy music. If you'd granted Anakin the rank of Jedi Master, he wouldn't... Oh my god. Okay. Bye. Anyone know how to remove this thing? Hey. Well, that's one way, but there's gotta be an alternate way, right? Why did I just watch people cut soap for 45 minutes? Why'd you film a dead body for five minutes? Unnatural hair colors in women are a warning signal to stay away. It's an example of aposemit- I, Yeah, I think I've tried to read this word before. I still can't get it right. The phenomenon of poisonous animals in nature advertising their toxicity and lethality. Mm, yeah, it's there to warn off predators, not sexual partners. If you're repelled by it, it's working. I'm so tired of all- I mean, I say I'm so tired of a lot of things, but I have to say, these stupid Alpha Giga Chad Sigma douche nozzles are my least favorite people in the world. The level of pseudoscience they will spit out is just amazing. And it's all in an attempt to demonize women. That's all they're trying to do. If anybody ever posts anything like this at all, they hate women and want them to go back to having no rights. That's what they're hoping for. God bless this president. What? The imaginary president of your homoerotic fantasies? Yeah, Nick Adams, alpha male, absolutely wants this drawing to be real, so that he can get down on his knees and gargle some balls. Not that there's anything wrong with doing that, by the way. Nick Adams just hasn't come to terms yet. Just pronounce it as it's written, Italian and Spanish. English and French? No. English is literally written the way it's pronounced, besides a few words. <laughs> English is literally a written due. It's pronounced besides a few words. Yeah, English sucks. I mean, obviously I have to like it because I can't speak any other languages and I also really don't have the ability to learn any others, okay? I tried Spanish. I tried Japanese. I tried Russian. I tried, uh, 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 Finnish. God, they're all, all so difficult. Also, that, uh, 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 was not done on purpose. My brain actually just hit a curb, so to speak, at that point. Never seen Star Wars. None of them. Never will. OMG, you're missing out. Maybe. You're missing out on being a multi-millionaire. Keep your movie. He saw the opening text crawl and got scared that he might have to read. He definitely got scared of something. Words? Yeah, he's pretty afraid of words. Even though he says some of the dumbest ones I've ever read. Getting ready to perfect a bill that will ban transgender surgeries and blockers for children under 18. You look like you commute to work on a hot air balloon. That or a unicycle. Without a seat. Doctors are some of the dumbest and most dangerous individuals in modern society. I stopped trusting doctors a long time ago and only rely on real experts, like folks on this app. I can't... <sighs> I'm trying to go through the mental gymnastics, like this person, in order to come to the conclusion that doctors are some of the dumbest and most dangerous individuals in modern society. Doctors have their problems. They brush a lot of things under the rug on you and chalk it up to you being wrong and you shouldn't be worried about anything ever. But, I don't know, I would still much rather have them around than have them be gone, because I don't trust Uncle Touchy and his naked puzzle basement, Twitter, to diagnose me and help me and get me drugs if I need them. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, man? I'd really like to hear the reasoning behind women who won't take their husband's last name. Because my last name is best. Think about it. How can you eat these precious creatures? Is this rhetorical or are you looking for recipes? I wouldn't mind some recipes. There's a cure for cancer. His name is Jesus. There's a cure for AIDS. His name is Jesus. There is a cure for lupus. His name is Jesus. There is a cure for diabetes. His name is Jesus. Now, when is he going to publish his research? Come on, it's kind of past the prime, can you please? What would you do if your significant other came out as trans? Respect their decision? Well, okay, when it comes to significant others, I don't think Steven Crowder should be asking anybody any questions at all. Steven, take that stupid flappy loud mouth of yours and sew it shut, please. Maybe then you won't verbally abuse your f***ing wife. 
Oh, sorry, ex-wife. Why do women train for ripped abs? It's because they want to look like men. That's why I do it. I'd like to look like a man someday. Truthfully, it's gross. Lips, tits, and hips. Men are simple. We want the classic beauty of a feminine hourglass shape. At no time in history did men ever want women with ripped abs. Richard, I called somebody else this earlier in the video, but you are a dork-ass loser. Hi, Historian here. I'm comfortable saying that at no time in history, women have ever wanted you. Thank you. We appreciate you, James. So I was dating this guy, kinda rich, and he asked me out of the blue, would you date a struggling guy? And I said no, due to some personal reasons. And he said, you know, to me, you are the struggling guy. I haven't healed yet. I mean, damn though. My company will weather this economic recession for one main reason. 50% of our employees are located in the Philippines and earn $10,000 a year on average, five bucks an hour. No employment taxes, no workers' compensation. Also loyal, hardworking, kind team members. My brother in Christ, you run a sweatshop. He knows. He knows that. He doesn't care. As a matter of fact, he thinks it's a point of pride. I mean, look, he tweeted this. He's proud of it. He's real proud of it, okay? These people don't care. Can you guys please recommend books that made you cry? Ah, yes. Engineering Mechanics. Statics. 14th edition by Russell C. Hibbler. I don't think that's the type of crying we're referring to here. My granddad is 75 next year. He didn't fight two world wars for this silliness. The First World War was more than a hundred years ago. How'd your granddad fight that? He didn't, as I just said. I think I broke the scammer's grasp of the English language. Hello, excuse me, is this Etta's phone number? An old friend of mine gave me this number, but not sure. Etta. Oh my god, so sorry, I just found out that I entered the wrong number. I apologize if I offended you. Etta dick. Rude dog. Countersunk nut patchwork sewing machine. Damn, that, that was taking it a little far, don't you think, Mr. Scammer? Giving birth isn't as painful as being kicked on the nuts. Have you had a baby? No, but over the years, women say, let's have another one. I've never heard a man say, come on, hit me in the nuts again. This is beyond science. Okay, wait, I know that Steve-O has never asked to be hit in the nuts. I'm probably completely wrong on that. He probably has. But wasn't that something those guys just did all the time? Take it in the nuts for fun. I would like to buy your iPhone 8 Plus 64 gigabyte unlocked for $385. All right, 385 sounds good. 350, gotta pay my kids braces. No, sorry. So you hate kids. No, I need 385 for my kids braces. You missed an opportunity there. What I would have said was, yes, I do. It's 385. How about showing us a time-lapsed video from leaving Earth's surface to landing on Mars? Can't do it, can you? Nobody has to send you anything, because you don't really exist. You're not a real person. Unless you send me a time-lapse video from your birth to the moment you wrote that comment. Can't do it, can you? I rest my case. You don't exist. Homosexuality is an abomination to God Almighty. Never misses a gay event. That's true. That's true. Name something that feels British, but isn't. British Museum. Oh. oh, that's a real good response. I was gonna say pissy shitties. If you could choose one year without gaming or one year without sex, do I look like I have sex? I don't know, you look like a normal person to me. Fella's out here acting like he's Grognar the Florganator. Like, dude, you're fine. I wouldn't worry about it. Believing in the Bible makes you as a Christian, but reading and understanding the Bible from first to last page makes you an atheist. Strongly disagree. <clears throat> I do not permit a woman to teach or have authority over a man. She must be silent. Please be silent. But, uh, uh, the Bible doesn't, doesn't say that. I'm sure that was the response, right? My husband is take me tomorrow for soaping. What should I buy? Dictionary. I don't think that'll help. Maybe proper English lessons. What do you think? Go woke, go broke. If that's the case, you must have gone woke when you had your last job in 1994. Oh, no, 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 that was his last real job. He's had plenty of work since then on some of the worst f***ing movies and TV shows ever made. At least I'm pretty sure the movies. What was it, uh, God's Not Dead was a big one for Mr. Sorbo, you know? The most on-the-nose movie I think I've ever had the displeasure of watching. <laughs> I'm sorry. Mr. Sorbo definitely went broke, but funnily enough, it's not because he ever went woke, bro. He was just never very good. And that's coming from me, a failed actor. 
<laughs> was not made it anywhere. Show me a Shakespeare play that had lewdness or sexual behavior. I'll wait. You should spend this month's eight bucks on a fucking book. Yeah, I really, I really, re wait, does it actually say paid? Or is that like an extension you can get that somehow shows you? Because I've never seen that before. Either way, really a Shakespeare play with lewdness or sexual behavior? Okay. If Trump is arrested, I will eat diarrhea with a spoon. The left has been spreading this around. It's supposed to be my tweet from 2019. Notice the blue check mark. You know, the one I only got six months ago. Busted! <clears throat> Once an account gains a Twitter check mark through traditional verification or by subscribing to Twitter Blue, all previous tweets by that account show the check mark. A cursory search of any 2019 tweet from the account above or earlier will show the current check. I genuinely can't believe the guy that runs an account called Cat Turd is stupid as hell. Can you? Are you surprised? Cause color me wowed. They took this away from us and gave us dating apps instead. I will bring back galas. They still exist. You're just not invited to them. Like how you wouldn't have been invited back then. Yeah, galas still very much exist. The aesthetic is different, for sure, but they still exist. Are you kidding me? Stop asking us for free sh**. Send me free stuff. Sure, address? Send a piece of crap in a box to someone. Okay, that's Dbrand, you guys are insane, and that's why you're awesome. Is it fair for me to not want my boyfriend to go to strip clubs even though I'm a dancer? Tell him we have strippers at home. Yeah, but you still gotta pay that one. When asked what I bring to the table besides sex, just bring the sex, girl. Just, just bring that. Yeah, I don't know what the hell I'm looking at. Uh, I see noodles. Or pasta. Not noodles. Or, you know what? Who gives a crap? I, but I don't know what that is. What is that? I'm, <laughs> I'm genuinely lost. North Carolina lawmakers introduce bill to ban participation trophies for kids. Better take down those Confederate flags and monuments then. Please do. Also, I do think it's great that the generation that invented participation trophies, because no, their kids are special, is the generation that complains about them all the time like it wasn't their fault. You did this. Today I committed sin, and God immediately punished me by making my car not work, as he should. I immediately started praying to him and my car worked again. What do atheists have to say about this? I presume you never have to buy gas, because a simple fill me up prayer tops off the tank? Is this appropriate for a teacher? What is she supposed to do, leave her ass at home? I'm so sick and tired of this. Oh, the teacher's got a big ass. All teachers do, all right? Jesus Christ, what is wrong with you? Is an IQ of 273 good enough? No, it is terrible. IQ of 190 means one out of the golden billion, the smartest person of the Western world. An IQ of 200 means the smartest person ever lived, and more. So claiming an IQ of 273 means you do not understand basic stuff like probability distribution, standard deviation, etc. Which is quite bad. If you're interested in any career that involves math or statistics, which is pretty much all sciences, medical research, technology, finance, and a lot of other fields. 273, my ass, dude. If you had an IQ of 273, you wouldn't be asking dumbass questions on the internet. You would probably be a billionaire by now. Not because being smart immediately equates to cash, but because if you're that smart, you can write blank checks for just about any organization that needs really smart people. Oh, I've got 57 PhDs because I can get them. Getting called an NPC. Hello. I get called an NPC by everyone literally every day, but I don't know why. Or sorry, I have to ask this properly. I get called an NPC by everyone literally every day, but I don't know why? When I ask them why, they say nothing good. I suspect it's probably because of my movements or something, or my constant tiredness, but what do you guys think? It's very annoying, thanks in advance. Give them a quest to go f themselves. Oh my god, yep, here it is, here it is. The thermometer on the wall shows that your sauna is about 50 degrees. You're sitting in a cold sauna on the bottom bench reserved for children. I did get the pleasure of saying, I didn't get into a traditional Finnish sauna for sure, but I did get to use one while I was over there, and I thought I was going to die. <laughs> I've used saunas over here in the US, but it's not the damn same, dude. The perfect steak. This isn't even well done, this is congratulations. Some guy in my lecture just offered me his jacket because I was shivering. I would have taken the jacket if he was cute. Maybe the cute ones would have offered if they thought you were all so cute. Disabled parking should only be valid during business hours, 9 to 5, Monday to Friday. 
I cannot see any reason why people with genuine disabilities would be out beyond these times. We're disabled, Daniel, not werewolves. Yeah, I, lo I love that. What a great mindset. You know, past 5 p.m., if you're disabled, off. Go home. You shouldn't be out. Why in the world is there a tomato on the train? Because it's the subway. Fat girls who wear crop tops be looking like Winnie the Pooh. I would lose weight and look good in a crop top if I walked the distance between your eyebrows. Yeah, if we're gonna body shame, we're gonna body shame, bitch. What do you trust more than the Bible? The ads on Pornhub telling me girls within three miles of my location want to hook up. When the girl you invited over is so bored by Netflix's crappy film selection, she leaves. Maybe because you were actually trying to watch a movie, Brian. Women shouldn't say bad words. Retweet if you agree. Hello, Nick. I'm a reporter with KLWG in Boise. I'm doing a story on men that have never pleasured a woman sexually. May I use your tweets? Don't ask permission, just use them. It's on a public forum, they're free now. 